Good afternoon once again from Austin, Texas. We're at the Knobs show, and uh, I'm here with Megan Dean from Los Angeles. Holla. Right. She's throwing signs. That's like street cred. It's gangster around here. Gangster. Um, so she is a custom frame builder out of LA. And um, so I just want to ask what kind of frames you specialize in or enjoy building or kind of have most demand for? Everything I do is steel. It's about 50-50 lugged and fillet braised right now. Okay. Um, I race on the track, so of course I love doing track frames. Um, but I do ride pretty much anything. You have a lot of friends in the track scene. We have a lot of friends in the track scene. Giant elite track racer boyfriend. So you okay. know. You have a boyfriend? Yeah, okay. just one. Let me just scratch that question from my list. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, he uh, he races track. He does pretty well, right? Uh, pretty he rides well. on a frame that you built for him. Yes, he's currently riding one of my bikes. Okay. Um, do you find it difficult building frames around your menstrual cycle? It's really not not that big of a deal. Okay. It so hurts, it I guess, sometimes maybe. What about like the emotions and crying and? The crying does get in the way. It's hard to see brazing when there's tears in your eyes. Right. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Um, what? So now you primarily braze your frames. It's not so much welding, but you're. Yeah, not so much welding. All okay. oxyacetylene, silver and brass. Okay. I don't know what that means, but it sounds uh, <laughs> fancy. <laughs> So, um, what, if somebody came to you and said, I want a frame, I like it, I like the Moth Attack bicycle, how long is the turnaround time right now? Um, right now, I got busy right before the show, so I'm okay. probably about six months out. Six months, not bad. Yeah. Okay. So, speaking of the name Moth Attack, um, what would happen if you were to get pregnant while you were frame building? Is that going to delay the delivery time? Probably not, but I have a 110-pound dog that hates children, so okay. he would probably eat any child that happened in Do my house. Do you find that being a woman, um, your hands hurt a lot because they're more sensitive? They are sensitive, but I'm compulsive hand washer and lotion person. Okay, so your so. hands are in good shape. Yeah. Okay, they're good. all right. Um, and let's see what else I have for you here. So do you like to listen to music while you build? I definitely listen to music doing everything. Um, okay. So what, yeah. What kind of what are you listening to these days? Like, throw me some hip LA I, music scene stuff. I don't know if LA has a music scene anymore, but I range from, you know, Morrissey to Black Flag to you know, black metal and. Okay. Lots of black. Lots of black. Okay. Black. I only wear black too. Wow. All right, that's cutting edge, here from Austin getting a little slice of Los Angeles culture. Um, now, where did the name mothattack.com uh, come from? I went to frame building school and apparently left some granola in a cupboard, came home, and I had a kitchen full of moths and roommates that didn't clean it up, so. So the moths attacked your roommates? I hope they got some attacking for not cleaning them up. Okay, so that was instantly, as soon as you saw that, the name just came and there it was. Yeah, it started as a idea for a band or something, and I have no musical talent, so instead of music, it was frame building. Uh, um, I think that about does it. So you can get in touch with Megan at mothattack.com find out all the information. She will personally be the one building your frame, which is awesome. And what about paint? What are your options for paint for the customers? Um, I'm looking at setting up my own wet paint booth, but right now I've got this powder coater who is local and does custom and multicolor powder coats. So. Dude, text me later for the party info. It's gonna be over at Mello Johnny's. I'm sorry, what? No, I'm sorry, I missed the part about the paint. They get painted. Cool, yeah. awesome. All right, well, I think that wraps it up here in Austin. This is Megan Dean with Moth Attack. Check her out.